That's Glendale kindergarten teacher Catherine Gorospi walking into a Flagstaff jail in early October. She was there to bail out Charlie Malzahn, a man she had developed a romantic relationship with. I love you, Catherine. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to be with you. No matter whatever time I have, like I, I'm just trying to be with you. Be good. I'm just, I'm trying to get my together. Gorosby was reported missing October 8th, but police believe she was already dead. Nothing will ever give me or my family closure. I mean, he brutally murdered my daughter for no reason at all. She was trying to help him. New records from Phoenix police show Malzahn was uncooperative at first. Police say he kept changing his story, first acting like he didn't know Gorosby, then claiming she bailed him out and just left him the car without seeing him. Gorospi's father thinks it was Malzahn's sister who ultimately convinced him to reveal the location of the body. She did make contact with us when we were during the search and said, you know, how sorry she was uh, for what had happened. She knew her brother had issues. She goes, I do have some influence with him. Raymond Gorospi says his biggest hope now is that Charlie Malzahn pleads guilty to his daughter's death. So the case doesn't go to trial. I don't want us to have to go through that. I really don't. I don't want to have to relive that whole process again. There will never be healing for me. I cry every single day still. There's no healing for me.